Uh, we will start today uh, chapter eight in the outsiders. We stopped at chapter seven that uh, Johnny, Pony Boy and uh, Dali, they went to the hospital and uh, Johnny had a very crucial medical condition. Can anyone tell me what was the medical condition of Johnny? This is spinal cord uh, This I think is spinal cord Third degree uh, burns uh, and his back was with broken. Wallah. Okay, uh, okay, Ali, say first, then continue. Lama. Yes, he has a and he has a spinal cord, and he has a and he has a and he has a he has broken his back, and he has a and he has um, and of course, uh, you know that Pony Boy returned back to his home and he was afraid that he would be separated from his own two brothers. Uh, there was an article in the newspaper that talks about their heroic actions and um, his friends and his gang were very proud of them. Uh, what about Dali? What was about his medical condition? Lama, would you tell me? This was uh, the question. Uh, what about Dali? What happened to him? Was his case severe also? Do you know your number? That was a husband's idea where his hand uh, was broken, sir. Uh, no, he had just uh, burns on his arm that, uh, that would leave scar on his arm. That's it. Okay, now uh, in chapter eight, we'll continue. Uh, we will see Johnny at the hospital. We will see um, his medical condition. Uh, we will see that he's almost dying. Uh, and we will see uh, someone who would come to visit him and we will see the reaction of Johnny. So let's start reading. Asil, um, would you start reading, please? Okay, yes. Uh, the nurses wouldn't let us see Johnny. He was in critical condition, no visitors, but Tubit wouldn't take no for an answer. That was his buddy in there and he aimed to see him. We both begged and pleaded, but we were getting nowhere until the doctor found out what was going on. Let them go in, he said to the nurse. He's been asking for them. It can't hurt now. Did Tubit that... didn't notice. Why do you think that the doctor said he has been asking for them? I can't, uh, it can't hurt now. Why do you think? Why, uh, because uh, Johnny was gonna like pass away soon, so it was like it's not gonna matter now if they go and see him. Right, clear. Continuing. Tubit didn't notice the expression in his voice. It's true, I thought normally he's dying. We went in practically on tiptoe because the quietness of the hospital scared us. Johnny was lying still with his eyes closed, but when Tubit said, Hey, Johnny kid, he opened them and looked at us, trying to grin. Hey, y'all. The nurse who was pulling the shades open smiled and said, so he can talk after all. Tubit looked around. They treating you okay, kid? Don't, Johnny gasped. Don't let me put enough grease on my hair. Don't talk, Tubit said, pulling up a chair. Just listen, we'll bring you some hair grease next time. We're having a big rum the big rumble tonight. Johnny's huge black eyes widened a little, but he didn't say anything. It's too bad you and Dali can't be in it. It's the first big rumble we've had, not counting the time we whipped Shepard's outfit. He came by, Johnny said. Tim Shepard, Johnny nodded, came to see Dali. Okay, so here they are trying to break the ice with Johnny. They are trying to make him laugh. So um, he says that they do not allow me to put grease on my hair. So two bits said that I, next time when I come to you, I'll bring you grease. Uh, then uh, they talked about the rumble, which is going to happen between the sushis and the greasers, and told, told him that I wish that you would have uh, participated with us. Then um, they talked about Tim Shepherd. We met Tim Shepherd at um, in chapter two uh, because he wanted to have a fight with Danny because he uh, had torn his tires. If you remember, so he says here that Tim Shepherd came to visit Danny. So although they were uh, fighting or they had fought previously, now they are good friends again. Is that clear? Guys? Yes. Yes. 
Thank you, Asil. Hamza, to continue reading. حاضر بس معلش دخلت اتاخر بس الدنيا كانت بتمطر. الو؟ الو؟ سامعك بس يا حمزه اريد منين طيب؟ The beginning of the page ماشي سلام انت حضرتك يا مس حمزه لو مش عايز تقرا براحتك تيم اند دالاس هاد اولويز بين بوديز ديد يو نو يو جوت يور نيم ان ذا بيبر فور بينج ا هيرو جوني اولموست جريند از هي نودد tough enough he managed and by the way his eyes were glowing i figured southrend gentleman had nothing to 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 johnny kate i could see that even a few words were trying him out he was as pale as the pillow and looked awful too bit pretended not to be noticed okay so here they are still, uh, telling johnny that uh, his uh, name was written in the newspaper and he was um, described as a hero for saving the children of the church and of course they realized that he was very pale uh, that he looked like the pillow that he was sleeping on continue my dear um you want anything beside hair grease kid johnny barely nodded the book he looked at me can you get another one two bit looked at me too i hadn't told him about gun with with the with the wild with the wind he wants a copy of gun with the wind so i can read it to him i explained you want to run down to the drug store and get one okay two bit said cheerfully don't you all don't you all run off i sat down in two bits chair and tried to think of something to say that is gonna be okay i said finally and that daddy and me were okay now okay so now knew... hold on and now he asked them also to bring for him the novel gone with the wind which he used to um Uh, read with the pony boy in the church he wants pony boy to continue reading it for him and remember that he was fascinated with the characters that were in the novel and here he believes that he is heroic like the characters which he had read about them in the novel now also he uh, pony boy tells him about dali that he's okay then he tells him that i am getting on good terms with my brother dari right now Everything up till now is clear. Any questions? Okay. No, no. I knew Johnny understood what I meant. We had always been close bodies, and those lonely days in the church strengthened our relationship. He tried to smile again, and then suddenly went white and closed his eyes tight. Johnny, I said, alarmed, are you okay? He nodded, keeping his eyes closed. Yeah, it just hurts sometimes. It huge it it usually don't. I can't feel anything below the middle of my back. He lay breathing heavily for a moment. I'm pretty bad off. Ain't I pony? So here he feels that he is dying. You know, he knows that his medical condition is severe or crucial. Thank you, Hamza. You seen? Yasin. Ayo. Okay, my dear, would you continue reading? You will see here that he is afraid of dying, that he doesn't want to die right now. He says that I am only 16 years old, I want to live. Although previously that I uh, wanted to commit suicide due to the bad treatment of my parents, now I want to live. So let's read this part. Come on, Yasin. You will be okay from the beginning of the page. You will be okay, it said. You will be okay, I said with big cheerfulness. You gotta be, we couldn't get along without you. The truth of that uh, last statement hit me. We couldn't get along without him. We needed Johnny as much as he needed the gang. And uh, for the same reason, I won't be able to talk again. Johnny started, he, uh, he faltered, not even on crutches, busted my back. You will be okay. I repeat it for 
Okay, he knows the fact that he has broken his back and if he survived, he will not be able to walk again. Even he could not use crutches. He will be confined to a wheelchair continuously. You will be okay. I repeat it firmly. Don't start crying. I commanded myself. Don't start crying. You will scare Johnny. You want to know something funny, boy? I'm scared Steph. I used to talk about killing myself. He he, oh. he drew a covering breath. I don't want to die now. It ain't long enough. 16 years ain't long enough. I wouldn't mind it so much if uh, there wasn't so much stuff I ain't done yet and so many things I ain't seen. It's not fair. You know what? That time we were in Wendricksville was the only time I've been away from our neighborhood. Uh, you ain't gonna die, I said, trying to hold my voice down and don't get you stop uh, because the dog won't let us see you uh, no more if you do. 16 years on the streets and uh, you can learn a lot but uh, the wrong things not the things you want to learn 16 years on the streets and you see a lot but all the wrong sides not the sides you want to see johnny closed his eyes and rested quietly for a minute years of living on the east side teaches uh, you how to shut off your emotions if you didn't you'd explode you learn to cool it and nurse thank you so um can anyone tell me about the feeling of uh, johnny right now when he feels that it is his end what is his feeling what he does he want to do he is sad he said and he and can you explain more that he wants to he says that i want to live huh can you continue yes he wants to live just so you uh, Child. He says that he's only 16 years old and he wants to have a long life than that. Like, of course, also here you see that he was trying to uh, control his emotions. Uh, do you think that as greasers, they succeed in controlling their emotions? So what's the question again? The question here he says that the the years or the time you pass in the streets helps you to control your emotions, and we knew from the very beginning that the greasers are emotional people. So how could they control their emotions while they are emotional people? Can you tell me? If you didn't, you would explode. You learn to cool it. In what way? Can anyone explain this? Sorry, Mister. Like, I will explain it. Here we know that they are emotional, right? But they always want to appear to be strong. So if they feel that they are going to collapse, they are going to cry, they control their emotions in order to appear as courageous and brave people. This is the point here. You get it? Yes, I get it. Thank you, my dear. Um, Muhammad Hisham. Muhammad Hisham. Are you there, Muhammad? Yes, Miss. Would you continue reading, please? The last line here, a nurse appeared in the doorway. A nurse appeared in the doorway, Johnny. She said quietly, your mother's here to see you. Johnny opened his eyes. At first, they were wide with surprise. Then they darkened, and I don't want to see her. He said, family, she's your mother. I said, I, said, I don't want to see her. His voice was rising. She's probably come to tell me about all the trouble I'm causing her and about how glad her and the old man will be. When I'm dead, well, to tell her to leave me alone for once. His voice broke for once, just to leave me alone. He was struggling to sit up, but he suddenly gasped. 
when we then the below case and passed out code. Thank you. Uh, just hold on here. Who came to visit him? Omar um, Johnny. Yes, she visited him. Yes, your Omar, his mother. Thank you, Omar. Uh, what was the reaction of Johnny when they told him so? At first, he was surprised, and then he got uh, pissed off about her coming to see him. Right, he refused to see her because he, he believes that she's going to ridicule him and causing lots of trouble for uh, her and his father. That's why he refused. Didn't you read this part before? Yes, Yajan. Didn't you read this part before? No, you have. This is the first time. Okay, so here he refused to see his mom and uh, he told the nurse to tell her that. So let's see the reaction of the mom. Continue, Muhammad. Really? The, the nurse carried me out, out the door. I was afraid of something like this if he saw anyone. I ran into Tubit who was coming in. You can't see him now. The nurse said so to the the nurse said so to but handed her the book, make sure he can see it when he comes around. She took it and the, closed the door behind her. Two bits stood and looked at the door a long time. I wish it was any one of us except Johnny, he said, and his voice was serious for once. We could get along without anyone but Johnny. Turning abruptly, he said, let's go to Dallas. As we went out into the hall, we saw Johnny's mother. I knew her. She was a little woman with straight black hair and big black eyes like Johnny's. But that was as far as the resemblance went. Johnny Cake's eyes were fearful and and sensitive. Hers was hers were cheap and hard. As we passed, as we passed her, she was saying, "But I have a right to see him. He's my son after all. The trouble his father and I have got gone to raise him. This is our our reward." He'd rather see those no, no count hoodlums and his own folks. She saw us and gave us such a look of fatter than I almost backed up. It was your fault, always running around in the middle of the night, getting jailed and heaven knows what else. I thought she was going to cause out us. I really did. My dear. So what was the reaction of the mom? She started to shout. She said that he refused to see me while he is welcoming his friends who are uh, going to jail many times and so on. And she looked at them with, uh, with hatred. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Shady? I think there's a problem. Okay, Shady, thank you. Saleh? Yes, miss. Okay, would you continue reading, please? Two bits I. Two bits I got narrow and I was afraid he was going to start uh, something. I don't like to hear women get sworn at, okay, even if they deserve it. No wonder uh, he hates your gun, gun eh? guts. Two bits snapped. He was going to tell her of, uh, of read good, but I shoved him along. I felt sick. No wonder Johnny didn't want to see her. No wonder he stayed overnight at two bits at, or at our house and slept in the vacant a lot in a good weather. I remembered my mother beautiful and golden, like soda and wise and firm like daddy. Okay, so here uh, Pony Boy says that I was afraid that two bit would insult that woman. Then he compared between her and his own mother. Here he says that she was very harsh. She was very hard with cold look. But his mother, funny boy's mother, was beautiful. And at the same time, she was wise and Okay, continue my dear. Okay. Oh, Lordy, that there was a catch in two. Uh, there were a catch in two bits voice and he was closer to tears than I did even him. I, I had ever seen him. He has to live with that. We headed to the elevator to get to the next floor. I hope the nurse would have enough sense not to let Johnny's mother see him. It would kill him. 
Dali was arguing with one of the nurses when we came in. He grinned at us. Man, I'm glad to see you. This hospital people won't let me smoke and I want out. We sat down grinning at each other. Dali was his usual mean, ordinary self. He was okay. Shepard came by to see me a while ago. That's what Johnny said. What did he want? Kamil? Yes. Said he saw my picture in the paper and I couldn't believe it didn't have wanted dead or alive under it. He mostly came, uh, came to rub it in about the rumble. Man, I hate not being in that. Okay. Only last week, Tom okay. Shepard. So when, after uh, Pony Boy and uh, Two Bits, they leave the, the mom, they went to see Dali at the same hospital. And they found that Dali was okay. He was arguing or having a debate with the nurse because he wanted to smoke. And the nurse, of course, uh, banned him from doing something like that. Uh, then he greeted them and he said that, uh, won't you believe that who came to visit me? It was Tim Shepherd. He heard that I uh, became a hero in the, from the newspaper and he came to see me. And also he talked with me about the rumble, which is going to happen between the socials and the ghosts. يعني هو ده اللي الناس كيم وقال لجوني انا مبسوط ان انا جيت هنا عشان مش هشرب اي ويل نوت سموك بيكوز اي ام ان ذا هوسبيتال نو 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 ذا اوبوزيت دال از اكشلي ان ذا هوسبيتال هي وونتس تو سموك سيجريتس اند دي بريفنت هيم فروم دوينج ذات ذا نيرس از بريفنتينج هيم اوكي ذاتس واي هيز ارجوينج وذ هير اه اوكي اما المين بيقول ام جلاد I'm glad to see you that he is happy to see Pony Boy and Two Bit. Uh, Tony, uh, and Idilati, Pony Boy and Two Bit is uh, with uh, Dali? Yes, when I said that they left uh, Johnny and they went to see Dali in the same hospital, but in uh, another yeah. place. In second floor, come on. Okay, and then he continued, he said that I'm glad to see you. Then he continued, these hospital people won't let me smoke and I want out. I want to get out of this hospital in order to be able to smoke because they prevent him from doing that. Oh, okay. Get it? Yes. Okay, so uh, continue the last paragraph. Mm -hmm. Said he saw my picture in the paper and couldn't believe it didn't have. Wanted, dear or alive. Under it, he mostly came to rump it in about the rumble. Man, I hate not being in that. Only the only last week, Tim Shepard had cracked three of Dali's ribs, but Dali and Tim Shepard had always been bodies. No matter how they fought, they were two kind, two of a kind, and they knew it. Here they, they mentioned the fight that happened between uh, Tim Shepard and Dali uh, previously, and they said that Tim Shepard uh, broke some of Dali's ribs, but now he came to visit him in the hospital because uh, they are friends, or they are bodies after it. Okay, thank you, Sola. You're welcome. Okay, Kari Mayer. Yes. Would you continue reading, please? From the book. Where? Dali was grinning. You see this one? Dali was grinning at me. Kid, you scared the devil out of out of me the other day. I thought I'd killed you. Me? I said, puzzled, why? When you jumped out of the church, I meant to hit you just, ha just hard enough to knock you down and put out the fire. But when you dropped like a ton of lead, I, I thought I'd aim too high and broke your neck. He thought for a minute, I'm glad I didn't thought. Okay, so here Dali yeah, is talking to uh, Pony Boy, and he said that, uh, thank God that I uh, didn't hurt you. Uh, uh, Pony Boy was puzzled, say how? He said that when I um, had it on your back, when I was trying to put out the fire, you fell down on the ground and I thought that I had broken your neck, but thank God that nothing bad happened to you. So here you see that Pony Boy realized how Dali cared for him. So he will change his feelings towards Dali. He will, uh, Dali will become for him a close friend or a close friend. So continue reading. I'll bet. I said with a, with a grin, 
I had never liked Dali, but then, for the first time, I felt like he was my buddy, and all because he was glad he hadn't killed me. So you see here the change in the feelings of the pony boy towards Dali, that he started to like him because he felt that Dali actually cared about him and uh, that he was very happy that he didn't hurt him while he was putting out the fire. Also, we see that he changed his way of thinking and feelings towards his brother, Dali. Because he said, now I become on good terms with my brother, even I do not want to leave the house in order not to be separated from my own brother. Continue, my dear. Dali looked out the window. Oh, he sounded very casual. How's the kid? We just left him. Two bit said I could tell that he was debating whether to tell Dali the truth or not. I don't know about stuff like this. But, well, he seemed pretty, pretty bad to me. He passed out cold before we left him. Dali's jawline went white as he swore between clenched teeth. Two bit, you still got that fancy black handled switch? Yeah, give it here. So what happened here? Dali is asking about Johnny and they couldn't tell him that he's almost dying, something like that, but they said that he is not in a good status of course so uh, Dali here became curious that he wanted to contribute or participate in the rumble which is going to happen between the social and the greasy in order to revenge for John so that's why he's asking to bit for his blame up till now everything is clear guys any questions Thank you, thank you. Okay, continue, continue, Karim. Two bit reached into his pack, into his back pocket for his prize position. It was a jet handled switchblade, ten inches long, that would flash open at a mere breath. It was the reward of two hours of walking aimlessly around a hardware store to divert suspicion. He he kept it razor sharp. As far as I knew, he had never pulled it on anyone. He he used his plain pocket knife, his plain pocket knife when he needed a blade. But it was his showpiece, his pride and joy. And joy. Every time he ran into a new hood, he pulled it out and showed off with it. Dali knew how much that that knife meant to Tubit, and if he needed a blade uh, bad enough to ask for it, well, he needed a blade. That was all there was to it. Tubit handed it over to Dali without a moment of a moment's hesitation. So Dali asked Tubit for his blade, and Tubit gave it to him without any hesitation, without thinking of anything. Okay, we will just uh, read um, the following paragraph and that's it because we are running out of time. Continue, Karim. We got to win that fight tonight. Dali said his voice was hard. We got to get even with, with the socials for Johnny. He put the switch under his pillow and lay back, staring at the ceiling. We left, we, we left. We knew better than to talk to Dali when his eyes were blazing and he was in a mood like that. Okay, so we see here that um, Dali was determined to contribute in the uh, rumble in order to revenge from the socials for John. Okay, um, one more paragraph and I'll stop. Okay, Karim, one more paragraph, please. Okay, we decided to catch a bus home. I just didn't feel much like walking or trying to hitch a ride. Two bit left me sitting on the bench at the bus stop while he went to a gas station to buy some cigarettes. I was kind of sick to my stomach and sort of groggy. I was nearly asleep when I felt someone's hand on my forehead. I almost jumped, jumped out of my skin. Tubit was looking down at me 
worriedly. You feel okay? You're awful hot. Okay, so here uh, Tobit realized that uh, uh, Pony Boy was hot. That's why he was putting his uh, hand over his forehead in order to check his uh, temperature. Uh, I will stop right here. So uh, let's sum up what we have covered quickly. Uh, can anyone tell me about uh, Johnny's reaction when uh, they told him that his mom uh, came to see him? John Ayman? Yes, yes. Um, he didn't about want the reaction, my dear. He didn't want to see his mother. And he refused to see her at the all. So what was the reaction of the mother? Um, she was shouting because Yanni, uh, she she was shouting and she was looking uh, like a bad way to the to Johnny's friends. Right, and now they are uh, prepared to participate in the rumble, which will happen between the socials and the groups. We will stop at that part and we'll continue next st session, inshallah. And um, um, I am uh, longing to see you at the school. Thank you, my dears. Very much.